think I know the answer to this one. What is your biggest professional triumph, if you could name one? Biggest professional triumph? It could triumph. be more than one. Wow. Well, certainly Miss America, right. I mean, undoubtedly, that has been, uh, put me on the path that I'm on now. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, I, I sort of shudder to think what my life would be without Miss America, right. just because your life is never the same. In fact, any Miss America will tell you, we refer to our former life as the former life. Right. You can always bring things over from that former life to the life you have now, but you'll never just go back to being just Heather the student or just Heather the normal person, although my life is extremely normal right. by a lot of standards. Um, so Miss America certainly um, put me right up there professionally. Veterans issues, I mean, who mm -hmm. would have thought at 25 I'd be a national spokesperson right. for veterans nationwide. Um, you know, Fox in the Morning, being on the news here mm -hmm. in town was uh, a big stepping stone for me. After being the one on sort of in the hot seat. Right, right. <laughs> like, I sort of am now. Yeah, yeah. I didn't say <laughs> and, that. And being on the other side of that as mm -hmm. the one interviewing taught me so much. And I don't think that broadcasting is going to be something that will be, you know, I, I'm not sure I want to be the next Diane Sawyer. Right. But certainly it's made me a little more well-rounded mm -hmm. in that avenue. And I think professionally as a speaker, as a personality, wow, that was, a, that was an amazing year. Do most Miss Americas have this active of a post Miss America reign as you do? You know, from your since colleagues 19, that have their crown? well, since 1990, uh, since the platform issue was first introduced, mm -hmm. most Miss Americas, their platform is something that they're very passionate about. Whether it's something yeah. that's happened to them, whether it's um, or a family member, mm -hmm. something they've been involved in since infancy almost. So we all do continue to be very active. In fact, I was in Buffalo, New York two years ago, just for instance, and Nicole Johnson, who crowned me, right. was there the week before me for a diabetes event. Okay. Then I came into town, and then a week after me, the young lady I crowned, Angela Baracchio from Hawaii, she was there, going to be there for a character education event. So we all do still travel. I mean, we're not in People Magazine or, you know, right. on the national news all the time, but you'd be surprised how many Miss Americas are flying in the skies. <laughs> <laughs>